morning. It's Tuesday, July 21st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, An Apology to Molech. A brief word of disclaiming before we begin today. When I first began Rocky Road Devotions, I committed to a process of selecting one of the texts appearing in the daily lectionary. Occasionally, a very controversial, counter-culturally correct text shows up in that process, and today's was a doozy. Two of the texts are a direct challenge to the practice of abortion. Now, depending on where you fall on the sociology line of today's thinking concerning the right of a woman to choose to terminate an unwanted pregnancy, you might either love what I'm going to say or call it hate speech and offer to have me drawn and quartered. My only comment at that point is, we all have our opinion. I get mine from Scripture because God is wiser than Russell. So I stand by what you're about to read. Psalm 139. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. They cannot be numbered. I cannot even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake, you are still with me. And then Leviticus chapter 18 and chapter 20. Do not permit any of your children to be offered as a sacrifice to Molech, for you must not bring shame on the name of your God. I am the Lord. And if the people of the community ignore those who offer their children to Molech and refuse to execute them, I myself will turn against them and their families and will cut them off from the community. This will happen to all who commit spiritual prostitution by worshiping Molech. There's a saying that disappeared rather abruptly from acceptable speech in today's culture. And that is, if God doesn't punish those who practice homosexuality, he'll have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, likewise, if God doesn't follow through on taking any culture to the woodshed for practicing abortion, the killing of the unborn children, he owes an apology to Molech. Molech was an Amorite god, the chief deity of one of the peoples that inhabited the promised land. When Moses pointed the people in the direction of the land that God had said he promised to Abraham, he also recorded in Leviticus that they were not to worship Molech or copy the practices of the Amorite people of burning their children to death as a means of appeasing Molech. This was genocide of a monstrous sort. The Jewish and Christian view or doctrine of the inherent worth to God of every human being born or not yet born is expressed in the psalmist's words that we are created by, watched over in the womb, brought forth in wondrous complexity, and carefully included in all the plans God has for humanity and history. And abortion puts an end to those plans God laid out for that child. An agonizing worldwide statistic is that in the next five minutes, the time it takes to read this devotional, approximately 450 unborn children will be sacrificed to Molech, the god of this pregnancy just doesn't work for me right now. I can do nothing but weep for the children at this point because the country in which I reside, along with most of the governments of this world, have a hellish disregard for life. And the plain fact is that abortion doesn't just wrestle with God's creation. Abortion is a fist-in-the-air rebellion against God's will. It is sin, it is evil, it is dead wrong. Let's pray together. Father, only you know the total number of souls lost to the abortionist's knife, and that with the consent and approval of human governments acting out the wishes of the adversary. Forgive us, we pray. Help us to speak out so the world will know just how much evil there is in this dark path we're walking. For you today, 
I'm at a loss with what I or anyone can do against such a heinous practice that is just part of the landscape these days. Except we can pray and we can speak out. We can tell the truth, no matter whether it's liked or hated. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.